How good are the Los Angeles Lakers actually? The Lakers are currently up two games to one on the Golden State Warriors in the second round of the playoffs. And already at this point, the Lakers have far surpassed expectations going into the season, but also the Lakers have far surpassed any expectations people put upon them right before the trade deadline. As obviously the Lakers did have a lot of talent, when you have LeBron James and Anthony Davis, you always have a chance, but based on the recent couple of years and based on how they were playing at the beginning, of the season, nobody expected them to make it all that far in the playoffs or even get to the playoffs. So the fact that the Lakers are at the point where they're at currently, it's pretty clear that this Lakers team is significantly better than anybody expected, both going into the season, but also midway through the season. But quickly, before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification. Bell. I also want to quickly mention that I recently made an MMA channel, and if you guys are interested in that, the link will be in the description. But anyways, let's get into it. Originally, when the LA Lakers signed LeBron James and traded for Anthony Davis, people had extremely high expectations for them. They expected them to win multiple championships together, and even though it was clear that LeBron was getting older at that point, he still was proving to be an extremely good player and one of the best guys in the league. And when the Lakers won a championship during the 2020 NBA bubble, a lot of people's expectations were then vindicated, as a combination of LeBron James and Anthony Davis was looking very, very lethal and the players that the Lakers had alongside those two guys were also playing pretty well, allowing the Lakers to be the best team in the NBA at that point. But unfortunately, after their championship victory, the Lakers haven't had all that much success after that. They've made it to the playoffs, they've missed the playoffs, but overall the Lakers haven't been all that successful. Now there's a bunch of different reasons for why the Lakers haven't been all that successful over the last couple seasons, but the first reason that I want to touch upon is injuries. Now whenever you talk about really good teams in the NBA, that don't fully live up to expectations or pretty good teams that don't live up to expectations, a lot of times what the main issue turns out to be is injuries. And when you look at this Lakers roster, that was the exact issue that they were facing. Both of their main two guys and Anthony Davis and LeBron James have gotten injured for extensive period of times. Whether you talk about during the regular season, which really messed up any chance they had to make the playoffs, or even when they did make the playoffs, their guys were injured then and really hindered any potential success they could have going from there, or even if their main two guys were playing in the playoffs, they were clearly hobbled with injuries. It just seems like each and every season, the Lakers couldn't catch a break with injuries. It was always either Anthony Davis was hurt or LeBron James was hurt or both of those guys were hurt. And due to that, it was just very difficult for the Lakers to have any sort of success with that going on. But the next factor for why the Lakers haven't been all that successful as of late is due to the players that the Lakers organization put alongside their main two guys. During the 2020 bubble, the Lakers did a pretty nice job, I would say, at putting some pretty decent talent alongside LeBron James and Anthony Davis, but over the past couple seasons, I think the Lakers haven't done all that great of a job at putting good talent alongside both of those guys. And obviously, LeBron and AD are extremely talented, and their talent level alone could take you to the playoffs and could potentially even win you an NBA championship, but at the end of the day, when you look at how much better the NBA has gotten as of late, it becomes much more difficult to rely on only two players on your roster. I think at this point you need at the bare minimum two stars which the Lakers do have but you also need a really nice supporting cast alongside those guys because at the end of the day in the playoffs you need other guys to hit big shots in the clutch and I really do feel like we're seeing more and more of that as of late other guys hitting those big shots as opposed to the main guys on the roster because once it comes down to the clutch time teams are more likely to double or sometimes even triple the main guys on a roster to make sure that player doesn't beat them and for forces a different player to beat them. So I think that factor really negatively affected the Lakers over the years. But everything really changed during the second half of this season. As not only were the Lakers healthy, both LeBron and AD were relatively healthy this season, but also the Lakers made a bunch of trades during the trade deadline that proved to be very successful for them. 
And due to the success that the Lakers have had during the second half of the year, they were then able to make it to the play-in game, and then they were able to make it out of the play-in and make it to the playoffs. And in their first round matchup versus the Memphis Grizzlies, actually a lot of people thought it would be a relatively close matchup, but at the end of the day, people thought the Grizzlies just had the more talent and they would eventually win that series. But somewhat shockingly, the Lakers were actually able to win that series, and not only were they able to win, they actually looked pretty dominant in that series. LeBron was playing at a really high level, Anthony Davis was playing at an extremely high level, and the Lakers were getting a ton of help from some other guys as well, like Austin Reeves and some other players. And after their first round victory, they were then matched up against the Golden State Warriors in the second round. And going into that matchup, I think at that point, people realized that the Lakers are much better than people thought going into the playoffs, and actually people thought it was a close series, and some people even had the Lakers winning that series. But after three games have passed so far, the Lakers are currently up two games to one, and all three of those games have been a blowout. Either the Lakers have blown out the Warriors, or the Warriors have blown out the Lakers. So it's somewhat of a difficult series to predict going forward from here, but with that being said, I do think the Lakers are going to be pretty successful. I think going forward from here, it's going to be a very competitive series. I think the Warriors are going to win a few more games. I think the Lakers are going to win a few more games, but at the end of the day, I do think the Lakers are actually going to win this series and make it to the Western Conference Finals. I think the Warriors are obviously very talented. They have the star players in Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, even Jordan Poole, and they also have really nice supporting guys around those players. But at the end of the day, I just think something special is going on in LA, and I think the Lakers are going to be able to find a way to win this series, even though I do think it's going to be very competitive. And I don't see the Lakers winning this series before six or seven games. I think it's going to be a very deep series. And going forward from there, I do think the Lakers would have a really good chance to win the Western Conference Finals, whether it's against the Denver Nuggets or even the Phoenix Suns. And then going forward from there, who knows who they would play in the finals. At this point, my guess would be the Boston Celtics. And once again, I do think that's also a winnable matchup for the Lakers. And at that point, we could be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers as being the 2023 NBA champions, which is absolutely crazy considering their expectations going into the year, but especially around halfway through the year, how bad the Lakers were looking, the type of turnaround that we're seeing from them is absolutely catastrophic. But of course, with that being said, the Lakers need to take one step at a time. They're currently up 2-1 on the Warriors, and they need to focus on finishing out this series and then going forward from there. But I just do think the Lakers have something special going on in LA, and I wouldn't necessarily be surprised if they do win the championship, which is just crazy considering the expectations that they had at the beginning of the year. But one other thing that I also want to mention is if the Lakers are going to be successful, they must stay healthy. LeBron James and AD must be healthy, and if they are able to stay healthy, I do think they're going to be very successful, but if they're not able to stay healthy, it's going to be very tough for the Lakers to win. But I guess only time will tell what does end up happening with the Lakers, not only in this series versus the Warriors, but throughout the rest of the playoffs. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think the Lakers have a chance to win the 2023 NBA championship, or do you not think so? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you did enjoy, check one of these two videos popping up now, and until the next time, peace out guys.